Good morning, Falcons. I'm Yadali Suarez. And I'm Autumn McKelvey. Coming up, career opportunities. Also track and field preview. CCHS Today starts now. An Air Force recruiter is coming to visit on Tuesday, April 16th at 10 a.m. in the library. This is a sit-down conversation with the recruiter to learn about what is involved in joining and what opportunities and expectations there are as a member of the United States Air Force. This visit can be used to fulfill a requirement for your senior project. If interested, please sign up at the College and Career Center desk in order to obtain a pass for the meeting. Please come out and support the senior class next Tuesday, April 16th at the Gin and Mill restaurant for a night. The Gin and Mill is donating 10% of their sales when you come between 5 and 8.30 for pickup or dine-in. Attention seniors, please check the email for a survey regarding post-prom. It was sent last Thursday and the results are due by this Thursday. This Friday, April 12th, Minithon will be holding their main event. You can pre-register online for a guaranteed t-shirt or just bring your money the day of to register. There will be tournaments, an escape room, games, movies, a food truck, and so much more. For celebration of this event Friday, here is the Minithon Spirit Week. Today is PJs or fuzzy socks. Tomorrow will be college gear, and Friday will be Minithon shirts or wear neon. Now after sports with Owen. Yesterday, the girls lacrosse team played Penn Manor at home. JB lost 12-3. Goals were scored by Laney Snavely, Ava Capwell, and Taylor Woods. The varsity team also lost to Penn Manor 17-5. Goals were scored by Avery Lechtleitner, Caitlin Brenner, and Bree Kaler. The girls played again tomorrow night against Hemfield. Congratulations to the Falcons boys tennis team for improving their overall season record to 8-1 with a dominating 6-1 victory against Ephrata. Next up is a home match today against Conestoga Valley. Come on out to the courts and watch the great tennis and celebrate all the accomplishments of our three seniors, Ben Sheffield, Colin Aitken, and Finn Royer, have given the, to the tennis program. With the track season upon us, BB2 correspondents Asher Ford, Andrew Seeger, and Ethan Bowman made a preview for the sport. From distance runners to javelin throwers, the track team works together as a family to represent Cedar Crest Athletics. After warming up on the turf, each group moves to practice for their events. Coach Bear tells CCHS today how the season is shaping up so far. We've been preparing for this season ever since the first week in December. Kids have been working hard three days a week, December, January, and February. Other kids have been swimming, wrestling, playing basketball to get ready for this. And then the next thing we did, we made sure we came up with a good theme. So we got a great theme this year. It's called Pay the Rent. Success is never owned, it is rented. And the rent is due every single day. And these teams, we're paying the rent. Yeah, I think there's very few challenges when it comes to Cedar Crest track and field. I think the biggest thing that we need to do is we need to come together as a team. That's really, really important. We've done that year in and year out, and I expect that's going to take place as well. So as of now, we're doing a great job of coming together as a team, and we're going to overcome any obstacles that might get in our way. I'm really excited about our seniors. I'm really excited about the group that's going to lead Cedar Crest this year. We always challenge our teams to be historically significant. Sometimes that means it's a championship sometimes it doesn't mean it's a championship maybe they're going to be the most vocal maybe they're going to be the most encouraging maybe they're going to be the funniest group who knows what it's going to be but I'm really excited for our senior group and how they're leading the team this year one of the biggest things that separates us I truly believe from everybody else is each year we talk about what do we want to be known for what do we stand for what are our core values and we come up as a team with 10 core values I print them off, I send them out on remind, we post them in the locker rooms, and I remind the kids, at least for one of them each day a week, um, that we need to make sure that we follow these core values and remember what we're known for and what we're standing for. Today's lunch is turkey or Italian hoagie, assorted toppings bar, chef's choice soup, and assorted baked chips. Just hearing about that makes me hungry. For sure. <laughs> That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Yadali Suarez. And I'm Autumn McKelvey. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, day Cedar, Cedar Crest. Crest.